Hey guys, welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. I'm here with... Diasa 10 Base. His name's David in real life. <laughs> RPG! I'm not going to call him Diasa 10 Base in case you guys want me to. Like, you guys, you should really call David Diasa 10 Base. So. <laughs> I'm Jordan, obviously, this is on my channel. And David's going to go into the gondola and he's going to try to get into the Hall of Heroes. Not not trying to say that something bad's going to happen, but... Hold on to your underpants, David, your undergarments. Okay. There was actually a box phone in there, but you can get it later. Because no, you're going to come back out anyways. <sighs> oh, okay. There's a lot of backtracking in this game, but it's it's nice how they backtrack it. It doesn't Whoa. make you like dread it. Those are the snipers. Duck. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> David. Okay. It's it's a statue. I think you probably want to back up so it'll be easier. Actually, you gotta get them to shoot you first, and then you'll see them because they have like this loaded up helmet thing. Like the helmet lights up after they shoot you. Oh, there, see it? Yeah, that's it. Just back up and you might. Can, can you shoot through that maybe? I don't know, actually. I'm like a backseat driver. Make sure you got your underwear, David, before you go. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging there like a yo yo. Nope, oh, there it is. Aim right at the light. Or maybe lower. Yeah! Like that? Yeah. This is actually a really fun achievement to get. I like got it like first, like no problem. What's the achievement? Just get 30 headshots. Oh really? With a sniper rifle, yeah. Oh okay, I I, I didn't read it, you know, the first time. So. It's fantastic. I like it. Cause it's really easy to get a headshot. Oh jeez, Luis, who was that? Oh, this guy. <laughs> the guy who's like right next to us. Oh. Oh man, he's just right there. Do you see him? David, I'm gonna snipe this guy from this close. Oh! I thought you said there were snipers. There's only one. I guess there's only one. I thought there was at least two or three. Maybe because I keep on playing on harder modes. I don't know. I thought there was like a lot. Last time I played. Yeah, let's get these bastards. What do you mean? Oh, her. her. She's like for ammo for you. Oh, okay. It looks like she's just sitting there, being like cute, but she's she's looking for ammo. Trust us. <laughs> I don't trust you. Trust you, Elizabeth, then. And Elizabeth, we trust. Yeah, don't say something like that. You sound like Comstock. <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge, man? Ooh. Money. I think when I played this on 1999 mode, I was too lazy to snipe because for some reason they keep on getting hit in really easily. Uh, so I'll let you just ran up there and killed everybody first, and then like ignore the snipers and just win the building. Oh, oh you get caught. That's weird. Don't be afraid to use your vigors too, man. You have vigors in here. They're really fun. I'm like use it because it's fun, not because you need it. Because you really don't need it. It's just really fun. Woo. Ouch. Hey, hey. Another tip from 1990 mode for if you're playing and you want some tips on how to play it well. Um, try not to get shot too much, because it will lead to de death and that violates rule one of not dying. <laughs> really, Jordan? You did it, David! Really? Yeah, that wasn't that bad, right? Right. Apparently there's only one sniper on this mode, what the heck. They gave me like 20 snipers when I played. Like, hey, Jordan's playing. Um. How many snipers do we have in this game? Just go out and shoot him. Alright, we got in there. Nice. Woo! You you thought it was going to be more difficult. I, I really did. I'm sorry. I underestimated you, David. Never underestimate Jordan. Ever. And I just realized I forgot to be doing my Scottish accent. <laughs> I know, and you're doing like this strange Irish, Welsh-like accent. <laughs> <laughs> We're in America, David. Well, that's okay. Well, I, don't, I don't even know how to do that accent. That sounded like Mr. Miyagi just now. <laughs> wax on, wax off. Hall of Heroes. Go ahead and loot anything you want, David. Okay. You have further than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. Find Shock Jockey at the Hall of Heroes. Standing in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I wonder how 
far you can- Oh! The world's gonna know your name. Let's see if you can go to, um, the Battle of Broken Knees, is that what it's called? Dude's like, what? I'm sorry. It's another real thing. <laughs> Hi. He was waving at me. He's programmed to do it, David. He's a machine. He wanted to. It was voluntarily. <laughs> uh, ooh, so close. I was like wondering why I didn't pick it up. He was like, it looks suspicious. Everything looks suspicious, Jordan. This is like... Yeah, he has a shock jockey. He's like the ex-army guy. Cornelius Slate. The swift Oh, that guy's a shotgun. In case you're like, how did he get my shield out in one hit? How did he get my shit out in one hit? What? Did I say that? Yeah. Hey, let's go. Uh, how did he get his... No, I said how did he get your shield down in one hit. But I got to say it too quickly and I still don't like shit. Yeah. I didn't say shit though, you guys, because I am trying to be proper. Sure you are, sir. I think it's a sh yeah, shotgun. Nice. Prophet Father Comstock, Commander of the Seventh Grenade. Cavalry. Hello. Can you hear what he's saying though right now? No, I, I barely heard him. He's just saying Comstock's a fake because he was never at the battles he was at, and he said Booker do what all people should know because he was actually there. Oh, wow. And that's why he kind of had this little army of revolting against Comstock. Because he's saying that. His men are being replaced by like robotic ties, like army by Comstock. Ah, it's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice: die in the hands of a tin soldier or a real one. You see how he says it? Mm -hmm. So he'd rather have his men die from um, Booker than from Comstock's men. So he's telling Booker oh. if he would dare. Oh shit! Taki mushrooms. Float him. Yeah. Catch that, because you won't need it. Thanks. I'm like a second Elizabeth. <laughs> You're like um the doctor. Elizabeth is like the girl, and I'm like the girl's guy. I'm not sure that made sense. The companion? Yeah. I'm the companions. I'm the guy who's like... We're talking about. I don't watch the new Doctor Who, in case you guys were like, he knows nothing. <laughs> it's true. He knows nothing. I only watched the first season, or it's the first season in 2005 with Christopher Eccleston. Christopher Eccleston. Yep. I said that. I just had a thick accent, so I was like, Eccleston. Ah. He was like, you bastard, you know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to pronounce those things. In English, too. There's nothing really hidden, I guess I should say. Like usual, David, check. Pick carefully. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think my choices are gonna depend on this. Maybe how long I survive, but like the end game, I, I don't think. It's... No, it doesn't. It's a gameplay stuff. I think there's more stuff on the table, dude. Like another lock pick, though, wasn't there? Over here, it looks like. Oh, pistol. You don't need to use that, David. You got me, Aunt Elizabeth, <laughs> with her little lamp. I'll try to keep you so cute. With both bandages and ammo, but. Battle of wounded knee. The boxer rebel. Uh, I'll go in there. It's so scary. <laughs> it's not that bad, David. I'll go in here. Oh, it's just as scary. Ooh, there's sparks. I thought he was supposed to go into monologue slate during this part. No, I guess not. The city of Columbia. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. You can pick which side you want to go first. Okay, I guess that side. <laughs> They're like, no, he doesn't get to pick. The tin soldier is taking credit for the deeds of the real ones. Now your companion, young lady, he wrapped himself in glory on December 29th, 1890. David, don't shoot Indians or Native Americans. I'm shooting the cat out that spooked me. Which way, Elizabeth? Okay, let's not go that way. You can go left first. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, you can go back into the left place afterwards. The door back there. Uh, 
Alright, David, let me just warn you, hold on to your knickers. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Okay. That's why I have the window open so I can see. Wait, where's the... Um, or maybe it finished. Just go through the door, David, and hold on to your panties. Okay. Your pantyhose. Your nice lace that you got from Victoria's Secrets. You were there. Oh. <gasps> I was there at Wounded Knee? I can yeah. See it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! I still hear the screams. This comes stuck. Here's the soldier I You hear people screaming, David? Yep. <laughs> but yet you're oh! screaming. See if I told you true! Yeah, you got coins for the cushion. <laughs> Serious, David? You're checking it? Yeah. And mid, you're breaking immersion, just, oh, whatever. I don't care. This part was so hard in 1999 mode, you know that? No. I died like twice. Yeah. It annoyed me so badly. But it's, when you buy, like, die twice in 1999 mode, you get so pissed off because you lose, like, so much money. And you're just like, my money! I felt like I worked hard for the money. My precious money. I work hard go, for the money. So hard for the money. You know that song, David? Uh, I think I know it. I, I just don't. <laughs> I'm trying to reference songs like you know too, but uh, yeah, no. We know that Queen song at least, and yeah. the last did. <laughs> at least, thank goodness for that. And Ed Sheeran, we know that. I mean, if you don't know Ed Sheeran and you're living 2013, can't help you really. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I don't like, luck gets harder than that. <laughs> Stay away from Elizabeth. Crow, David. Ho! Oh. No, that's good actually against him. Trust me. Oh yeah! Woo! Who has the upper hand now? Wait, here's here's a, a bazinger, David. Wait, do it again so I can do the bazinger. Okay. Oh. oh. You switch out, oh, Vigor, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to do my bazinga. <laughs> oh shit. You look pretty fly now. Oh. Oh, that took too much effort. <laughs> too much effort on my part. Oh, you must got him. If only the killing him in crow form was his weakness. Oh. But that's, that's a good like mechanism though. Like... You have to kill him when he's at his strongest. That's you don't see that usually in like a bad guy thing. Yeah. I will. After you do the same for me, come and look for me amongst the boxers. Okay, now we go to the box for Billy. Yeah. Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and next time you can see David go to the Box Rebellion thing and kill some more of Slate's men, right, David? Yes. Did you enjoy yourself, David? Yes, I did. I'm glad you did. I, I think you play better, actually. Do you think so? I think you uh -huh. so. Did you die yeah. yet? No, you didn't. Huh? I, I didn't want... I don't remember, so, <laughs> so that doesn't count. He didn't die. <laughs> okay, whatever. He followed my rules and succeeded. He did not die. Mm-hmm. So thanks for watching. Yep, until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.